Hey everybody, Pete Blank here for this week's edition of Pete's Point at the new protective stadium here about to take in the Birmingham Bowl, an annual bowl held here in Birmingham every single year. Houston and Auburn getting ready to take the field and this is called protective stadium. Protective stadium and that's what we're talking about today is the word protect. How are you in this upcoming year, 2022, going to protect your high performing employees from leaving? It's very important right now. That should be your number one focus as a leader is how to keep your high performing employees from leaving. Well, here's a couple things you can do to protect those employees. Number one, you want to communicate regularly. That's very important. Sit down with them. Say, what do you want to accomplish? Are you thinking of going anywhere? How can I do things for you that you need? Number two, make sure you give them opportunities for growth, opportunities for them to become better. But number three, and this is the one that's going to ruffle some feathers, it may be time for you to think about flexibility and flexible work schedules and things like that. A recent study from Fiverr Business and the Hi Bob organization, an HR company, found that 30% of employees say the reason that they're leaving is they want more flexibility. And 54% of managers who were surveyed said that they know the reason people are leaving is because they want more flexibility. So think about that as you're going into this upcoming year. What are some ways you can provide flexibility? Listen, I get it. I work for local government and it's hard. It's hard to get people to work in hybrid organizations or remote or things like that. But if you've got high performers and you don't want them to leave, it is so important to protect them. Just like here at Protective Stadium, the offensive line has to protect the quarterback, the defense has to protect the goal line, you have to protect your high performing employees from leaving. Work on that this year and you'll definitely be successful. We'll see you next week on Pete's Points.